Hi, I'm Mary Govenda, and I'm one of the decorators here in the decorating room at Wilton. Today I'm going to show you how to ice a real pillow cake. One of our new pan shapes that everybody's interested in is our new pillow pan set. And here you have an example of a two-tier pillow. This is our small and medium-sized pillow pan used to make this cake here. But when people look at it, they're afraid, they're not sure how to do it. So today we're going to show you how to ice a pillow cake. The set itself comes with three pan sizes. We have a large, a medium, and a small, each with a different volume. The small pan takes two and a half cups of batter to fill approximately a little over half, whereas the medium is five and a half cups, and the large takes ten cups, which is really two cake mixes. One thing to remember when you're using the large cake pan, you also have to use the heating core that goes inside of the pan or with the batter so it properly, condu properly conducts the heat so it bakes evenly in the center. You don't want your center to bubble up and have a big mound and crone on top. So that will keep an even temperature. You also have to grease and flour or use cake release on the inside and outside of the cake core or the uh, heating board. Once you've baked and cooled your two layers of the same size pan in order to make a solid tier pillow, here we're going to be working with two medium cake layers and they have already cooled so I'm ready to trim off the crown area and you want to remove any excess that might have spilled over as you're baking. You'll, sometimes you have a ridge here and you have to trim that also to create that pillow effect. But one simple way to, tear, to crown your cake is just use your pan and use your cake leveler and saw back and forth and trim off your excess crown area. Go back and forth in a sawing motion to clean the edge. Careful not to cut your hand. You don't want to do that. And then you want to remove your excess. And you can use those cake crumbs for other things, like cake tops. And then we've got a board cut to the same height. And we're going to turn it over. And we're going to get ready to ice it. Same size, I should say, on that board. Another way, if you don't want to use the pan, you can turn it over. and just toward it, or cut off the crown like you know how to do. Sorry. Your cake leveler. And saw it back and forth. With the top of the pan, excuse me, your top area, the crown area, to be cut off and trimmed evenly. Sawing back and forth, like so and then just remove your crown and you're ready to ice your cake. We have some excess spillover from the batter. So what I'm going to do is put the two layers together. And now you can use a small paring knife and trim away any overflow area just so you can accent your pillow shape a little more. This might not be needed, but if you should have it spill over the edge of the pan, you want to clean that edge before icing your cake. And by matching the two layers up, you should be able to have a nice pillow effect and a smooth seam as you go to ice your cake. 